Praise the Lord. This is Sister Marilyn Belcher, and I am the pastor of the First United Pentecostal Church here in Centerville, Alabama. And I'm thankful today to be with you again on a video. I'm thankful for what God is doing. I've been so excited. God allowed me to start the church 27 years ago as of yesterday. Yesterday was the 17th of August, uh, 2023, and God allowed me to start the church in August the 17th, 1996. And I am just so excited to know that we're still here. Just like any other church, we've been up and down in our attendance. We've had m many, many trials and, and problems, but God has always been faithful and he's brought us through it. And I am so thankful to be able today to say we are still here. And I give God all the praise. When the church first started, I was the only one. But it wasn't very long. And, and God sent along my niece, uh, uh, Sister Cindy. And she's the pianist. And she, she's uh, filled many positions down through the years. And I'm so thankful for her. And then there was a, a brother that started, Brother Monty. And so there, that's the only three that's there out of the original uh, church congregation. So we've been up and down and all, but again, I, I still say we're still here, and to God be all the glory and the praise for it. I want to give Brittany a very special shout out today, as I try to do every week. And Brittany is always so excited um, when uh, they tell her that Sister Marilyn's made a new video and they set everything up and she gets to watch it. And so they let me see her sometimes. Uh, when I'm not there as she's listening to the video and she is just so happy. So Britt, Britt, Sister Marilyn loves you and I'm, I'm not sure when I'll be able to come see you, but I know that uh, Tammy's coming so you just hang on. One of us will be there in a, about two weeks but Brittany, I love you. Today I'm going to be preaching on Noah found grace. You know, so many times we we get despondent and we get down and out and, and, and we just, sometimes we just don't know what to do and it's everything that we look at seems hopeless. Uh, I've heard the expression and it can vary according to whoever uh, is relating it. But, you know, you, you take one step forward, only find yourself going back to some people say, I've took one step forward and took five back. And, and that's how you feel sometimes. It's like you'll never get ahead, not only in this life, but in your walk with God. But I want you to know God is faithful. If we will be faithful, God is more than faithful. And I've got a scripture that I want to read you, and it says that God is no respecter a person. So what he does for one all the way back to the very beginning of time. What he does for one, he'll do it again. He'll do it for you. He'll do it for me. He'll do it for whoever. And, and I just, again, I'm so thankful that God is faithful. So that's my title today. Noah found grace. But that thought comes or that title comes from Genesis, the sixth chapter and verse eight. And it's a very short scripture, but it says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of of the Lord. And, and this is uh, before the flood or before God 
had Noah began to build the ark. And the Bible says that men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. And the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. In other words, they were good to look on. And they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. And in verse 5, the Bible said, God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. It sounds very much like where we're at today, doesn't it? People just do any and everything that they want, anything that they can think of, and, and, and people that's trying to do right and live right and, and serve God, we are just taken aback by the things that are taking place in this world today. What used to be right is wrong, and what used to be wrong is right, and it's like the whole world is turned itself topsy-turvy. But again, I tell you today, we serve an awesome God. He's an on-time God, and He knows knows exactly what you and I are going through and he knows what we are in need of. So the Bible said God saw. God is still seeing today. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. Uh, those tears uh, that fall at all hours of the day, but especially in the night, God hears those tears. He not only sees them, but He hears those tears when they fall. And God sees when we're not being done right. He knows that when, we, when we're trying to to do our best, then people are making fun of us and people are putting us down. He sees all that and he keeps a record. And the Bible says there in verse 7, and the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping things and the fowl of the air. For it repenteth me that I have made them. When the Lord said that he was going to destroy the order that we just read to you, man, beast, creeping things, fowls of the air. This is the reverse order of the way he made creation. And he said, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And, and so grace, uh, I, I looked up grace because I'm also going to have scriptures about uh, favor. It can be spelled F-A-V-O-R or F-A-V-O-U-R. And so grace is God's divine ability and provision. Favor is God's divine acceptance and approval. And, and so by Noah finding grace in the eyes of the Lord, he and his family were saved from destruction. And by Noah and his family being saved, then humanity was saved. Grace refers back to God's favor. And so in Acts the 10th chapter and verse 34, the Bible says, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of person. You know, when I pray, I ask God to allow me to find exceeding great favor. With God first, and then with man. Allow me to find exceeding great favor with God first, and then those that are in authority. Allow me to find favor with them. Acceptance, approval. And, and, and so, and I know God's done it many a time. 
And when it seems like almost all is lost, God has allowed me, he's allowed our, our church to find favor with those in authority. In 1 Samuel, in the second chapter, in verse 26, And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. It's not lost. It's not a hopeless case. Man thinks they got all power. When I say man, I, I'm not speaking uh, of the sex or anything. I'm speaking in general of humanity. People think they've got power. Uh-uh. My God is all power. Your God is all power. And so we need, instead of sucking our thumb or getting upset and, and going to bed and pulling the covers over our head, we just need to ask God to allow us to find favor, first of all, with Him. Favor, grace, allow us to find it, first of all, with God and also with men. And the Bible said, and Samuel, the child, Samuel, it said that he grew and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. Finally, in Luke, the first chapter, in verse 30, we know about Mary and we know how that uh, she was conceived by the Holy Ghost and, and, and gave birth to our Savior, God in flesh, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, though, that the angel, Gabriel, the messenger angel, when he came to talk to Mary, one of the things that he told Mary, Luke 1 and 30 says, And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. So don't be afraid. What he does for one, he'll do for all. He's no respect or respecter of persons. And remember, grace is God's divine ability and provision. Favor is God's divine acceptance and approval. So grace is God's favor. It refers back. It, it, it's, it sounds so much alike. But I tell you what, I want it. <laughs> I want it. I need it. And he has proved himself to me time and time and time again. As far as being a pastor, a woman pastor, yeah, buddy, I've needed some grace. I've needed a whole lot of grace. I've needed a whole lot of favor. And I have had it. And God has kept me. And he will keep you. Just come to him. Lay it all at the cross. Be encouraged in the Lord. What he does for one, he will do for all. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day because I know, Father, you, you don't pick and choose. But God, your word says you're no respecter of persons. And I know what you did for the child Samuel, what you did for Mary what you did for Noah and all the others through the Bible and those that have helped pave this road before me. God, in this walk with you, I know that you are no respecter of persons and your grace and your mercy and your favor, God, it is extended to all. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.